Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a card project featuring the Studio Calico Sugar Rush card kit. It's the February card kit from Studio Calico and I wanted to show you the 6x6 paper pad that comes with it because there's lots of fun patterns and colors in this and really there is a lot that you can do with this kit. So I'm going to be just using some of the papers here and you'll see this final paper is the one I'll be cutting some of the digital cut files out. So you can see that I've cut these hearts out. They're part of the digital cut files that go along with the February kits with my Silhouette Cameo. And I'm just going to lift those off the mat. And I'm also going to be using this cut file, which is part of the February release too. And it um, is a really fun lev cut. And just use a little um, spatula to kind of lift those off. So you can see I have them all there and I'm going to push all my other die cuts aside and I'm going to create kind of an ombre effect on this one love cut here using four different colors of Copic markers. So I've brought my craft mat in here and I will just start coloring over that white die cut starting with the lightest of my pinks and moving through the color spectrum lightest to darkest and you can see that I finished that up there. And then once I've got that colored, I wanted to add a little shine to it. So I just brought in my Wink of Stella clear glitter pin and I'm just brushing over the top of that and then I can set it aside to dry. So you can see that there and you can't see the shimmer, but in real life, it's very cool. Now I will bring in my card base. It's Nina Solar White cardstock and it's cut to four and a quarter by 11 and I'm just gonna score it at five and a half. And then I can use my bone folder to make a really nice crease across the top of that. And that just keeps the cardstock from cracking. To add a little texture to this card base, I'm just gonna use this Mr. Huey's and this is in the color Cameo. And I believe it's discontinued, but you could use any pink mist for this. And I'm just going to kind of splatter it across the front of the card, kind of in a diagonal pattern, working my way down there. And then I'll set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to take this Zig two-way glue pin and just add some to the first cut. I'm going to be stacking several of these up, so I'll just add the glue and then put another one of the die cuts directly on top of it and just line it up. And I will stack several of these up, probably about six or eight of them, and just keep gluing them and lining them up. And it gets a little easier as it gets a little thicker. Once I got it to the thickness that I wanted, I went ahead and added more glue to the top of that and then just added my ombre one there. And you can see what a very cool, thick, dimensional die cut that makes, almost like a chipboard embellishment. And now I will bring in these hearts and to help them stand off of that white cardstock and to break up the different kind of colors of whites of this and the card base, I'm just gonna add a little pink ink to the edge. And I'm just using a makeup sponge here. And that's where most of my makeup sponges tend to go is into my craft room. So once I get those done, I will just use a little regular tape runner adhesive and just adhere those to the front of the card. Now, when I cut these hearts, um, I did kind of mirror image some of them so that it would create a little movement. You can see that it's a wonky shaped heart. So I wanted them not to all be going in the same direction. So I just used my software to kind of mirror image those so they weren't all the same. I'm gonna round the bottom two corners with my half inch punch from the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. And then I can add my little chipboard embellishment here with just some more of that zig two-way glue. Now in the kit, there's these really cute enamel hearts, and I really wanted to use them, but I felt like they were getting lost on this white card base. There was just too much white. So I brought in my Copic markers and just colored them, and you can do that and kind of just pat it on there and, you know, color them in, and it will dry on these, and then you can see there when I add them to the front of the card, it just looks so much better and pops off of that and adds to that ombre effect. I did want to show you, don't be afraid to try this because you can just use regular rubbing alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol in a dry baby wipe and you can just basically erase that color off when you use those alcohol-based markers. So don't be afraid to try it. I used some glossy accents to attach them to the front of the card and there is my completed card. It's lots of dimension and um, just a really fun card. I had a really good time making this card. For information on all the products I used 
on this project, you can visit my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com, and you can also see all of the cards that I made using the Sugar Rush kit from Studio Calico. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.